All right, guys, so I'm doing another little food forest walkthrough. We've been having some uh, pretty extensive rains and everything's been growing super fast, but I am back in Ocala and uh, I'm about to do a whole bunch of pruning. I've got my little falcos and my different pruners, but I want to take a little video before I did a thorough prune. I'm gonna be cleaning up around the border of the house and chopping back a lot of the support species. Napier, Tithonia. Recently pruned some crepe myrtle, fed it to the fig. But yeah, it's been amazing how much growth we've gotten the last couple weeks with just so much rain. All the Bidens starting to flower. It's an awesome wildflower and edible. Um, my Thai soldier beans are extremely prolific right now. And I actually am um, gonna put together a little roadside produce abundance stand that um, I'm gonna start putting some of the stuff that I just can't eat because uh, I have so much of it. Um, I'm gonna put some out and it's just gonna be a little donation based little produce stand, which is gonna be fun. But yeah, the bananas are growing like crazy. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I don't get a rack here soon but they probably won't mature before we get another uh before we get our first major frost but that's okay not too worried about that lots of pups on the orinoco if you can see them over there I've got a lot of pruning to do around the air conditioning unit And eating some of the sugar cane. You see all the new shoots. A little lubber. Sometimes I feed them to my fish. Other times I just let them do their thing. I have so much vegetation I'm not too worried about them. The mulberry. It's growing super fast. I pruned back my, look, we got a ripe. I pruned back the Jamaican cherry tree to get some new growth. And let's see, you can see little tiny new growth coming out there and some new growth shooting out so that's exciting the purple napier grass is just growing like crazy i've already cut this back this season three or four times it's just such a good biomass producing species See all this Tithonia. Everything you see here is gonna get dropped back. All of this and mulched in place. And I'm gonna be planting some um, cooler weather crops like mustard greens, collard greens, kale, radishes, etc. But yeah, you can really see all the beans. peppers. I've just been harvesting them and harvesting them and giving some away. I'll be adding these to the little produce stand. You can see the ants have totally colonized this area. There are all the little 
sugar ants. Oh, missed the frog. He was sitting right there. I don't know if you saw him or not. It's beautifully shaped. Tithonia. I've got an eggplant that's hanging on. Just a lot more beans. A lot more beans. Bananas are hanging on that I planted out, the little pups. Yeah, you can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, maybe six over there. Banana pups that I can plant out. Chaya is growing nice and strong. Blue butterfly pea. It's really abundant this year. I've been harvesting more and more papayas as they've been ripening up. This one's starting to get a little bit of the yellow, which is awesome. Been looking forward to the larger papayas, but they've all been really nice, really flavorful. See those are starting to yellow up. I'll be taking those down here in the next day or so. As you can see, the walkways are totally shaded over here, which is such a beautiful feeling compared to just a few months ago where this was blazing hot right here. Now it's totally shaded out by papayas and tithonia, mainly the papayas. Elephant ear is growing in there. It's more support species, which will all be getting chopped back. The purple possum passion fruit has gr grown like just insane up the moringa tree. I've actually pruned it back a whole bunch of times just to feed to other plants, but I really love how aggressive it is. Oh yeah, this little papaya is doing really great. It's growing super fast. Pruned back the, one of the plums and it's got some new growth. Pigeon pea, more elephant ear. The guanacaste. The ear pod tree. Um, I'm forgetting the Latin. But that'll be a beautiful overstory and support species as well. The ice cream banana. It's growing really nicely. This red Mexican sunflower fell over, but I've left it because I don't have too many flowers blooming right now. And this one is still blooming. So let it do its thing.
this mulberry is also growing super fast now. I was going to prune these little lower branches, but there's a couple that are making contact with the ground. So I want to see if they'll produce some roots so that I can transplant those. Low quad trees doing really good. I pruned um, a little bit around it. I pruned the bamboo away from it a little bit just to give it more sunlight. Um, probably going to need to do that again. But yeah, bamboo is, I think, a pretty underrated biomass species that a lot of people plant as specimens, but not, um, they don't usually seemingly uh, prune it regularly. And you just get pretty good quality mulching material, so. The Jerusalem artichoke has started to flower. Beautiful little yellow flowers. And catching some rainwater in the wheelbarrow and then placing that where I need it. I do have some uh, shampoo ginger right here. This stuff smells so nice. <sighs> Put some in my hair. If you didn't know, shampoo ginger grows really well here in Florida. It's from Hawaii, but I've seen it naturalized in quite a few areas in the wild. And there's a lot of benefits, but it is really good for your hair. Thus being called shampoo ginger. This is the only spot where my, um, what are these called? Cucamelon, where the cucamelon actually has like survived and kept growing. So I'm hoping maybe I'll still get some cucamelons from there. I'm gonna be chopping all of this back, back here. All of this is support species. Um, I'll probably leave the pigeon pea to produce flowers and pods. And then I have a lot of harvesting to do with more Thai soldier beans. South Sea salad tree. It's a very beautiful edible leaf hibiscus plant. Another of the guanacaste, providing a little bit of shade and microclimate for this fig, which is a brown turkey fig. Abakina olive is still doing well. I'm going to be chopping down all of this tithonia, mulching around the olive. This candlestick cassia is just finally starting to really grow. These are all the daddle peppers that are doing pretty well with the um, 100% foraged potting soil. Um, I've just been plucking any plants that have been coming up out. I've uh, seen a couple of the wild grape little seedlings coming out. Just some homemade uh, fermented plant juice there that I've been feeding them. Still have a whole bunch of baby loquats that I need to plant out. Rabbit's doing great. I did do some pruning last night of this Mexican sunflower just around the plum which has been doing really nicely since I pruned it. Roselle is growing really nicely but no uh, flowers or calyxes yet. The calyx of the um, roselle is what you eat, but the leaves are really nice. Some more edible, edible leaf hibiscus. 
more napier grass to cut. Barbados cherry tree is growing nicely. It's still flowering, but no fruits. So still hanging on for some of those fruits. I've never got to try it before. I'm really looking forward to it. The nectarine tree is doing great. This pear tree is doing way better since I pruned it and shooting out new growth. But uh, yeah, this Tithonia will be mulching the pear. Katook has been doing really nicely. Last year it really struggled, but it's growing really nicely now. A little microclimate back here with the pond. Still has a lot of fish in it. I need to water this little fig. This little pond's doing great too. Probably should add a little bit more water. But lots of shampoo ginger back there and some taro as well as a pineapple that's growing maybe a little slow due to, to the lack of sunlight. But. This peach tree is doing great since I pruned it. So is the jujube tree. It is sending out a lot of little suckers from the um, bottom of the tree, but that's not a big deal as it's the same species, I believe. I don't think it's a grafted tree. A lot of the Mexican sunflower will be getting dropped. I'll be leaving the pigeon pea though. The little ponds are doing awesome. This pond right here is filled with tadpoles again. This one has some fish in it. This huge clump of Mexican sunflower will be coming down. This moringa tree is doing awesome. Moringa tree responds so quickly to being pruned. About a month ago now, I pruned, and this is the one month of new growth. little pond in here that you can't quite see. I've been letting the sun hemp go to seed and drop the seed because I would like it to uh, naturalize. This cassava is still doing really well. I think I'll be able to actually harvest cassava for the first time this year. is back I mean the uh, pineapples back there are doing well I'm gonna cut back this lemongrass and the big clump of Mexican sunflower back there I've got a lot of mulching to do back here but this is the primary food source of the rabbit and it's my main flowering species right now. So I've got to leave some for the uh, pollinators, as you can see. That pigeon pea has pods already on it which is pretty amazing. I've never had pigeon pea flower this early, but 
it just goes to show you when you get them planted early enough that you can get pods. I still have my thornless blackberry over there that's hanging on. It's been growing really slow, but it's still hanging on. I think I've walked pretty much everywhere now in the food forest, other than the yard. Which is still just being mowed regu regularly, but uh, a kind of sad thing that I have no control over is that the retention pond behind here the county sprays um, an amino pyrrolid that kills the invasive grass that you can see growing, but they only spray the borders around the retention pond, which in reality does nothing other than contaminate the soil and doesn't allow me to eat all of these uh, Thai soldier beans just because I'm not gonna chance it but what I do allow is for them to go to seed and drop seed and then just replant themselves and they're creating privacy as well as um, just keeping the soil healthier than it would be without snow but I do have a lot of the um, support species over here that I'll chop and drop where they're at and then I'll allow the Mexican sunflower some of it to go to um, flower because they are really beautiful. Some more pigeon peas. I did see that some bamboo that I planted over here actually took is awesome. But yeah, all these pigeon peas are doing really well. I'm looking forward to eating a whole bunch of pigeon peas. Check out that dragonfly. Oh. Yeah, I've been doing some different projects today. Check out the stink bug. Sometimes I smush them, sometimes I don't. I just don't think that it uh, matters all that much, so. But uh, some rosemary. It's doing awesome. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed the little walk around. And I'm looking forward to doing all this pruning. It's something I really enjoy doing. And it's kind of a meditative, fun thing. So, <sighs> hope you guys are having a great one. Uh, Look forward to posting another update soon. Peace.